Good morning, and welcome back to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is May 12th, and our reading is Aiding and Abetting. He abstains from malicious speech. He does not repeat elsewhere what he has heard here in order to divide those people from these. Nor does he repeat to these people what he has heard elsewhere in order to divide these people from those. Thus, he is one who reunites those who are divided. And that's from the Majhima Nikaya 41 verse 13. Right speech means abstaining from speech and gossip that divides people against one another. It's a little late for the media to get this input, but it might be in time to help us. Lending our verbal support to voices of division and recrimination. Denouncing people we've never met, but dislike anyway. Stoking the fires of hatred aimed at groups of people who do not look or sound like us. All these actions contribute to an atmosphere of distrust and bad faith. We must avoid aiding and abetting in the destruction of civil society. Cheerleading and rabble-rousing is incompatible with a civil society. This is not supposed to be a football game where we've got mobs of people on both sides dressed in different colors screaming and acting like fools, or at least it's not supposed to be. The purpose of, of civilization and the civil society is to help one another deal with the vicissitudes of life. There's plenty of vicissitudes around. Things go up, they go down, and we can either give people a helping hand or not. Malicious speech is a violation of the principle of right speech. We are supposed to be plugged into helping others and helping our families. And that does not mean that we're going to cheerlead for one side at the expense of another or stand idly by and, and uh, go along with, with the same kind of bad-mouthing that leads to mob rule and, and mass movements. These things are not good for civil society. They're not good for us individually. And they're not what the Buddha had in mind when he talked about ethical conduct and right speeches, the cornerstone of the ethical conduct stream within the Eightfold Path. Please take a look at the description box and you will find the table of contents for the book, Daily Dhamma, A Letter to Our Children. You'll also see playlists for this YouTube broadcast, and you can take a look at what's contained in them. We highly recommend them. If you're of a mind, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you wouldn't mind dropping by Amazon and picking up a, a book there, it's available in... Kindle and paperback form. And happy trails to you until we meet again.